Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Portland Sea Dogs. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Ty Block gets the ball in game three of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's got interesting numbers, and if you look at his strikeouts to walk ratio, it's one to one. So it's not great, it's not terribly bad. It means he throws strikes, but he doesn't have the stuff that's going to totally dominate hitters. He's got to rely a lot on his defense. We'll watch to see how this one unfolds. Lead in the box hey, now, down here. Joel Ritter. He lead head. things off here in the bottom Joel half of the first. Ritter. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Harold, our visitors, as they take the field following a scoreless top half, they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah, Matt, they're showing us they can play in those close games. I mean, both games in this series, they've won by one run. I love that. I look at that and I say that's the quality of a team that knows how to win the tight one. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? You want to watch the team put the ball in play? This is the team you want to watch. They are last in the league in strikeouts. One through nine, they put the ball in play. They put pressure on you. It's going to be a fun watch to see how they battle the other team's pitchers. One down, one down. So Center stepping in, Adrian, Adrian Carrara. Carrara. He brings a hit streak that oh, currently sits right at now. six games entering play. Into the windup and the pitch. Eight. Takes a look down at the knees Home for a strike. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. That's a ball. That misses, says the home plate oh, umpire. Strike, One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Looked to be a pitch that caught a lot of the plate right there, so that might be a little indication of the strike zone we can expect the rest of the way. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base cut hit. Hole, cut hole. Well, that's a nice base hit right there, but it means more than just a nice base hit. The leadoff guy didn't get going, but now here comes the thunder with a man on base. This is when big innings happen. Coming to the plate now, Jesus Aguilar. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his Jesus own ballpark. Aguilar. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Come on now, get us a two ball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You talk about a free swinger. First pitch, and he hits a ball that's down and away and gets a base hit. Man, that's not what I'm looking for, first pitch. But I got to tip my cap to him. He executed it. Into the box now. Fernando Ramos. And he's just hoping for something right to go his way in this one. Fernando and as you can see, it's not Ramos. been the case of late. One out now. He's set. Here it comes. Yeah. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Well, Matt, this is a situation in last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, you capitalize on it. You grow from your mistakes and be able to come back and deliver in this one here. Come on, fellas. Let's go. The 0-1 on its way. Yeah. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. He's really put himself now in a position where he's got to battle. Took the first two strikes, didn't swing, and now you just grind out the A-B. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. 
Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Hey, get ahead. Into the box. Stay ahead right now. Macias standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. That average for him up in the 360s now. One home run, 10 RBIs. Hey, now we got two. 0 oh 1, here it comes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Rip down the line. Uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Digging in, hey, we got Noah. Jeremy Neely. He went Portland. hitless last night in a Let's game where his guys up. could push across Jeremy only one score. Neely. And he'll look Outside. at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, they've really shut him down this series. No Here hits in the series, and they've done a great job of executing their pitches. They found his weaknesses and stayed with it. Runs well, outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. Takes a knee-high fastball. I like that. That's great 2-0 oh hitting. You're looking for one specific pitch in one specific area. You don't get it, you take it. down the third base. Oh, it's off the third base bag. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. <laughs> now in the box, Andre Epperson. He enters play, hitting Second in the 260s front. for the year. Andre Epperson. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. That's outside. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. No out here. Come on, fellas, let's go. 1 0 count, here it is. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. Back to back hits, and now the inning is set up. They're trying to put the first run on the board, so you can bunt, move them up. Now you're second and third. You may draw the infield in, or if they sit back, get the easy ground ball, and you pick up the first run of the game. But it's all set up with those back to back singles, and now you can do whatever you want to do with the rest of the inning. Standing in now, Michael Teague. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. The numbers coming in 278, the average. Two home runs and six RBI. Oh, the crowd were rolling it. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. And that one stayed too low, now, apparently. One Back door breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Hey, nobody out now. Baseball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. I'm focusing on the second baseman. You know, they move him around a lot. He's got great hands. I love how he turns a pivot, and he really gives that pitcher a chance when a double play ball's hit that you turn it and get him out of an inning. Striding in, Randy Morris. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, come on now. Got to hold him here. 
drilled to the left there side. Go, roll it, roll it. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Well, that one's going to load the bases up. They held the runner up. They're really looking for a big inning right here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. Hey, we got one. Now batting. In now, Joel, Joel Ritter, Ritter. He will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Hey, let's roll two ball here. Let's go. The 0 1. Swing and a ball sliced, fouled into the seats down the left field line. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Swing and a little blooper yeah, to center. Casillas on ball. the move. He gets there as the runner breaks for home. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. So no runs here on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Digging in to try it again. Hey, Adrian Carrara. He'll get us going in the home half of Center inning number fielder, three. Adrian Carrara. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive to center field. Casillas is there and he has it for the first down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Now batting. First baseman. Into the Jesus. box now. Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 1 for 1 after a single this first time up. Hey, we got one here. We got one. And the pitch. Turned up. And whoa, this is off the third base bag. And that's through for a hit. And he will reach it first, but it's very possible that he might have had two bases there had that ball not hit the bag. Well, that's a slider breaking in right there. And if it's not in on your hands, that's a dangerous pitch. He got lucky that ball didn't go further. Now batting. Right. Stepping in now, Fernando, Fernando Ramos. Ramos. Oh, yes, right he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Roll it up right here. From the stretch. Dear Way wow. in front of a great slider that time. One and one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Hit hard on the ground Here to second. Go, roll it. And that finds its way through for cut a base it, hit. It. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, he's watched himself struggle now. And his average has fallen below 240. So that's a welcome hit for him and I'm sure the manager as well. Hey, let's roll two, Still huh? Batting. Third baseman. Standing in Alvaro now, Alvaro Macias. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Hey, we got one out here. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Now a ball pulled hard to the foul off to the left. Working for the punch out and the offering. Turn two, ball turn two. Back up the middle. The out. second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Three innings in the books. Still no score on the show. Yeah, we got no Stepping outs. in and ready for another shot, Jeremy Neely. Inning. He'll start let's things out start. here in a tie ball Jeremy game. Neely. Come on, fellas, let's go. 
Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0-1. Ball one. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Henderson ranges to his left. And a good oh. throw gets him one gone. Ready for another one, chance, Nick. Andre the Epperson. Number six, second baseman, Andre Epperson. Here's the first pitch to him. Aye. A fastball that finds the outside corner. If you're able to locate your fastball like that, you're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because go, he's fellas. been Let's spotting go. that fastball pretty good in most of the game. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Saws him off here as his ball's up, popped up. into the air. Oh, and he misses it. Man, this is the stuff they teach you when you're a kid. You've got to call it. Looked like there was some miscommunication out there, and nobody made the play. That's a gift to the other team. The left fielder, number five, Michael. Let's turn it. Teague. Come on now. Into the box, Michael Teague. And he lays off there, 1-0. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Hey, we got one here. Ready with the 1-0. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. In tight with the slider two and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Full count. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Runners on first with one down. Now a snap throw to first, oh, and the runner back in standing. And another snap throw to he's the safe. bag. A dive, but he's back. And here's a ball hit in the air, and that'll get down for a base hit. And he's hey. safe. Well, he got jammed on that one right there, and he's just strong enough to muscle it in the right field for the base hit. It's going to be a line drive tomorrow in the paper. We got one here. Hey, let's hold him right here. And now, Randy, Randy. Morris, as he will take a look at strike oh, one on a fastball right down the pipe. A base hit in his first trip. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Inman moves over, makes the catch, but the runner from hit, third relay, breaks relay, for relay. home. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a one nothing lead. Hey, this has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far, so any way you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. 
Digging in once again. Ahead, Joel ahead now. Ritter. Ten He's 0 for 2 thus four. far in this one. Joel Ritter. Two down now. He's set and the pitch. Ball. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one. But the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Swing and a liner, but foul. Right side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Center fielder number double zero. Into the box now. Adrian Carrara. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's one for two in this one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Ripped down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So one run on two hits, one error, and two men left stranded. On to the top of inning number five we go, and the Sea Dogs lead this one one to nothing. Striding in once again, Jesus Aguilar. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Jesus Aguilar. First offering on its way. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Hit on the ground to short. Backhanded. No problem here. One away. Digging in and looking for more. Fernando we Ramos. Go, guys. A hit in two Fernando tries so far. Ramos. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Ah. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. To short. Henderson is up with it. Throw on to first, Shut takes up. care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Stepping in, Alvaro Macias. It's been an 16. 0 for 2 effort for him Alvaro to this point. Macias. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tough slider down low hey, for a strike. The play the first. The wind up and the 0 1. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. Five innings complete. The Sea Dogs lead it 1 to nothing. In now, Jeremy. Neely, one for two on his line so far in the game. Jeremy Neely. In there, 0 and 1. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff hey, and you really go. rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's ball really one. working. And there's one ball, ball one. one. No outs here. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Grounded to third. And the throw almost got away there, but a nice play to reach up and glove it, and then come straight down on the bag as they record the first out of the inning. 
Ready for another shot now. Oh, Andre away. Epperson. He singled in two trips Andre to the plate thus far. Epperson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Aye. Leaves a slider right over the middle. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Hey, all right. Here we go now. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a liner foul and out of play. One out, nobody on. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Yeah, did it. No runner, no runner. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. The left fielder, number five, Michael T. Hey, we got one out here. Let's turn it. Come Standing on now. now. Michael Teague Whoa, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he'll get back in safely. One and zero delivery. All one zero pitch is right there, but ruled a ball. Two and zero on two and zero. You can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. The two zero on the way. Down low, and the three. plot thickens here. Three Count and zero. Oh. He's really being aggressive right now, Matt. Got himself into a great hitter's count, and then you see him check swing. You don't see that very often on the fastball. He's ready to swing, and he held up enough to let it go for a ball. And he'll snap one over to first. He's good. Runner is back. Here it is on three and zero. Oh. Nope. And he lays oh, off boy. here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. As a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. Now time called here is here comes the skipper from the third base dugout. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Here Rob Kemp takes the mound now to try to get out of this mess. There Number are two on with only one away. Rob Kemp. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Ty Block earned his fifth win of the year. Michael Guy closes the door for the save, his 18th. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score. First for the victorious Sea Dogs. One run on 12 hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base. For Binghamton, no runs. Seven hits. One error. They left 12 men on base.
time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes.